We're going to change the wheels on our robot because the current ones are getting a bit worn down. And that means that when it's in the arena, there's a risk of it bottoming out, and it means we could lose some battles on a, you know, on a, on a silly for a silly reason. So we've we've bought these wheels. These wheels are entirely nylon. They're about a hundred million diameter. We buy these locally in a in a shop in our town. The plan oh, is. Should, I should point out yeah. they're two euros. They're two euros. <laughs> yeah, yes, very they're very dirt cheap. cheap. And yeah. we've we've gone through loads of them because they're so cheap. So as we as we learn what we're doing, what we're going to do is we're going to. Uh, see if I can get one second. I'll get a, a, a dummy motor shaft. This is the front of one of our drive motors, or very similar at least. You can see that the chuck screws onto a thread that looks like that. That's a three-eighths thread. Um, and we bought these things online. They're an in they're inch-long brass, as I say, three-eighths UNF thread uh, inserts. And our plan, these screw over. Our plan is to heat these up and press them into the bore of these wheels and then the result is that this will melt out of the way and create a create a mold around this which will be very strong this is how the wheels on the current machine on the machine currently sorry already work and then we screw the whole shebang onto the, our drill shafts and that's the way they're attached we're going to slightly shape the tops of these holes. It's a 12mm hole, these are about half inch, so it's a bit big to be guessworking how they fit in. So we're going to take the uh, top of these and kind of taper them a bit so that these sit in snugly. So we'll do that now. So uh, we're going to drill this now. We're just going to go in enough just to make a hole big enough for the brass uh, core to go in. And that's a bit messy inside, but that's all we're doing. If you can get just a little bit, you can see it there. This is the front of one of those drill motors, the shaft. We've cut this off, this goes inside the gearbox. The bit that interests us is this. Our plan is to use our pillar drill as a press because it has a convenient, really quite accurate uh, up and down motion which we just can't replicate without the right tools, without a natural press, so it works quite well. And then this goes up inside the pillar drill. We heat this up until it's nothing nothing like red hot, but, but very, very, very hot enough to um, melt the nylon. And then we're going to press that in to the bore. So I'll put this in the pillager in now. So here we are at the next stage, just to point out a few things. We've got the brass centerpiece mounted into the drill. It's on the end of that drive shaft. We've got the white wheel beneath it, which has got a little dip in it. And now we're going to press it in. It's very important, especially with cheap equipment like this, to make sure that this plate is absolutely flat with respect to the drill. In this case it was out by a couple of mil and the first couple of wheels we pressed in had a bad wobble as a result. The other thing is because we're going to be using a blowtorch we've got to be careful where we point it uh, so I'll probably remove one handle whilst I'm doing that. We're going to put a safety piece over. In true bodged up fashion this is a piece of cardboard because we don't want the metal touching the nylon and uh, a cutting disc for a three and a half inch angle grinder used fairly low power, not a very big flame, and about a minute we found has worked for us. If yes. you're wondering why we've been putting cardboard near this flame is because if we were to only have the metal disc protecting it, the metal disc would get hot and melt the nylon beneath. So it, it's there is method in our madness. Even though it's a bit rock and roll. Yeah. Here we go. So I'm just using the point of the bright blue flame, which is the hottest bit, not pointing it down so it picks a uh, bit of flame on the cardboard. And we don't want to overheat the chuck of the drill either. It doesn't matter if we play just on one side of the brass because the heat will travel around it pretty fast. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
you could go. We've got this set so that when it's fully in the down position on the pillar drill, it should be in the right position in the centre of the wheel. Trial and error in that too. And there it is. Now we've just got to hold that pose until the plastic sets, which will be a minute or two. So here's the product at the next stage. You can see that the brass is centred in the middle. Uh, and under the bottom there's a little plug of molten plastic that comes out like this. We simply turned it over and knocked it through with a screwdriver and it pops out quite easily. I'm showing the ends. That one's not very neat because that's where the plug came out. And there's a this, nice little molten pattern at the top. Which, which fortunately for our application we have, to, we have to cut off but it does look nice. Final shot of this sequence which is the wheel now cooled down on the shaft. Let's spin it. Here we go. That's a particularly good one but that's absolutely... I'm going to zoom in on the edge. Put the camera will focus. Ah, there you see it. It's partially my hand shaking, but this this particular one is the best one we've done. The others, if yours come out and they're much wobbly than this, uh, be aware that ours haven't been this good. This, we're showing you this one because it's the best. There you go.